Today is May the 13th, and uh, we're in the year 2012. And I'm doing a series on brief forms uh, for not only court reporters, even though a lot of phrases I'm dealing with now has to do with uh, sentences that are used quite extensively amongst attorneys in uh, litigation in courtrooms and also maybe during depositions and so these brief forms hopefully will be an aid and a help to many stenographers and journalists uh, who uh, engage and use such to save themselves a lot of time in writing everything out even in the long form of Greg Shorthand. Okay, let's look at one of these uh, sentences here that's actually uttered quite a bit in the courtrooms. Objection, Your Honor. Counsel is leading the witness. If any of you have watched Perry Mason uh, like I used to when I was real young, of course you've heard this quite a bit. If you just even so much as step inside a courtroom anywhere, uh, you'll find that uh, you don't have to watch Perry Mason or turn on uh, the drama of uh, Judge Judy or Judge Mathis where you might hear some of this. Uh, I know on Perry Mason we used to hear it quite a bit, but it, actually in live courtrooms throughout the world you're going to hear objection, Your Honor, counsel is leading the witness. Well, for those who are court reporters, let me share with you a very brief form that I have adopted to write this down. I'm going to first write it out in Greg's shorthand using the full alphabet of Greg's shorthand and then we will uh, look at the brief form. Okay. Objection, Your Honor. Objection. Your Honor, counsel is leading the witness. Okay? Ob okay, object. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, objection, Your Honor. I've got a little stand here underneath. And sometimes it slips off like it did just now. Glad I caught it. Okay. Objection, Your Honor. O, B, objection, J, E, K, T, I, O, N, Your Honor, O, N, R, Counsel, K, A, U, N, S, E, L, Counsel, is, which is an S, leading, L, E, D, and the dot underneath the last alphabet stands for I, N, G, leading, the, which is a T, H, witness, W, I, I, which is the little i, and remember, little i and uh, little e is the same stroke. W i t n e s. Objection, Your Honor. Counsel is leading the witness. Okay, let me write it without lines. And of course, this can be wrote so much more quicker on pen and ink in a tablet, where the strokes are real little and tiny with your pen. And once you learn shorthand to the point where it becomes second nature, and you don't even have to concentrate and try to remember the stroke. As soon as you hear it, you can write it as quick as traditional language that you've wrote all your life. Then the quicker and more proficient you get with it, the more you're going to enjoy it. Objection, Your Honor. Counsel is leading the witness. Okay? Objection, Your Honor. Counsel is leading the witness. Okay? Objection, Your Honor. Counsel is leading, L-E-D-I-N-G, the witness. Okay? Objection, Your Honor. Counsel is leading the witness. Okay, now there's a quick way. This is really going to blow you away. I've got a brief form here to share with you that's really going to show you how 
great brief forms are to have in your mind and heart, especially in a courtroom. Okay. Objection, Your Honor. Counsel is leading the witness. 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 Now you see how much more quicker that is. Okay. Well, let me show you what I'm doing here. Okay. Now, if you remember, objection, Your Honor. Those, we kept that brief form in this utterance here, okay? Uh, objection, Your Honor, okay? That's O for objection, U for your, and the period with the H in it, that stands for uh, honor, okay? Just like we, instead of writing out uh, R-A-L-R-O-D for railroad, we just write R R instead of medical doctor. We just write M D in shorthand. Well, it's the same way. Instead of writing, instead of writing objection like that in a phrase, we're just going to use the O for objection, and then we're going to use the U for your because that's in shorthand. That's what U and your is anyway. And we're going to put a little H in there, and that's going to stand for, just like RR stands for railroad, instead of writing R-A-L-R-O-D, and instead of M-E-D with the K detached under the last alphabet, which usually stands for C-A-L or C-L-E, instead of writing out medical and doctor, D-O-K-T-R, we write M-D. Well, instead of objection, we just go put an O, your honor. And instead of writing out the word counsel here, which is K-A-U-N-S-E-L, instead of writing that word out, we're simply going to write K for counsel, okay, K. And we're going to cross it with an L or touch it with the L. We're going to K, cross it with the L like that. And remember, whenever you cross one alphabet with another like that, or touch it like that, that kind of reminds you that this is a brief form you're using that represents more words than what you're seeing. Counsel is leading the witness. Okay, let me write it over here and erase all this. And let me show you why in this instance it's important to, to really cross the alphabets. Okay, objection, Your Honor. Counsel is leading the witness. Okay. Objection, your honor, here's your K, stands for counsel, is leading the witness. All we're doing to cover all those other words, we're taking an L and we're running it through the K. And remember, court reporters, because they hear this lingo every day, they're going to recognize what that means. But so will you, whether you hear this language each day or not, if you adopt this as your brief form. And you don't have to adopt any of these brief forms I'm sharing with you that I have adopted. But it's just like people who know things that I don't in any field of knowledge. They can show me a quicker, faster way I'm willing to learn and accept their way if it's a good way. Some of you will find the way that I have been blessed to come up with on brief forms a good, quick way. Some of you will develop your own. But uh, how much more quicker that is... Uh, Objection, Your Honor. Counsel is leading the witness. 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 Okay? Now, let me show you why it's important to make sure you touch that K with the L in this instance. Because the word quality, quality, the word quality in shorthand is a K with an L under it. It's a K with an L under it. And words with an L detached from the last alphabet in shorthand, that L stands for L-I-T-Y. If you remember, E-U-T and put the L under the last alphabet, that's utility. And if you remember, uh, when you have a little R detached, 
This is a little r. This is a longer one. It's an l. The shorter stroke is the r. This is sek with an r. And uh, words with the detached r ends with r i t y. The r stands for r i t y. That is security. Sek with the little r detached. So because of that, when you write this phrase uh, that I just gave, your objection, your honor, counsel is leading the witness. We're going to write objection, your honor, counsel is leading the witness. We're going to make sure that L crosses right into the K. Just like uh, the phrase, have you ever been? We could write have you ever been. But if we want the brief form for that, we write have and we cross it with a B. And that lets us know, have you ever been to California? I mean, you see how much brief forms the time that it saves you. I mean, once again, this is a review, this here. Have you ever been, and just think, just that so far is two strokes. Have you ever been? See how quick that was? Have you ever been? Have you ever been? And then if we would have finished out the question, for instance, uh, to California, uh, to uh, California, California, okay, uh, instead of writing to California, instead of writing that out, we just write uh, to California. We just write the KA that stands for California. The reason why I put that here, usually you don't have to, but whenever, let's say, let's uh, use the brief form for California is this KA. If we put this here, which is equal signs on a slant going up, that means that this here, equal signs on a slant going up, tells us this alphabet is capitalized. And we know that the first alphabet of all states that we write out is capitalized. So, I mean, brief forms, uh, getting out of the courtroom. For instance, have you ever been to California? You see how quick that is? And that's your question mark right there. Instead of writing, have you ever been to California? Just have you ever been to California? So brief forms, uh, uh, your honor, Objection, Your Honor, the counsel is leading the witness. Objection, Your Honor, uh, counsel is leading the witness. So you see how quick that is? Objection, Your Honor, counsel is leading the witness. Objection, Your Honor, counsel is leading the witness. Objection, Your Honor, counsel is leading the witness. See how quick that is? Okay. Objection, Your Honor, K for counsel is leading the witness. L is going to cover leading the witness there. It's a brief form, just like RR for railroad, MD for medical doctor, and it's much more quicker than even using the long part of shorthand, which is objection, um, your honor. Counsel is leading the witness, okay? Now, that's quicker than objection. I mean, look, just the word objection. By the time, and think of Calif the word California or so, or, or the word counsel. Uh, but just the word objection, by the time you wrote that, I've already wrote objection, Your Honor. Uh, counsel is leading the witness. But when you can write it like this, uh, Objection, Your Honor. Counsel's leading the witness. Objection, Your Honor. Counsel's leading the witness. But when you cross the K with the L here, make sure you cross it. Because when you write a K with the L detached there, well, then that stands for the word quality. Okay? That stands for the word quality. Anyway, I love shorthand, and those of you who have been enthused and sent me wonderful emails, that uh, I know that there are others that are enthused with the speed of it, and uh, 
And I appreciate all the emails. And one blessed fella from Canada sent me a letter that he wrote, and it was in complete shorthand. Other than just addressing it to me, he wrote the whole letter in big shorthand. And I was blessed to read the whole letter because he wrote it so good and legible in shorthand that he's been learning online. And he's a college student. And to get a letter like that, I'm so appreciative. So to anybody else that wants to write me a letter in shorthand, I wrote him a letter back. He was from Canada in shorthand. And I wrote the same letter that I wrote in shorthand to him, also in longhand English. So in case he had any kind of problem uh, trying to discern anything I wrote in shorthand, since he is a student, but he done very well with writing that letter. And I hope he'll do very well with reading uh, the letter I sent to him. I thank you so much for your encouraging letters. And get a letter wrote to me in shorthand by someone that's actually learning from these videos. I cannot emphasize enough in the human language how much that blesses me. And uh, I'm so very thankful. Okay, thank you so much for tuning in.